Once you've decided on the environmental issue that will be the subject of the audit, it's time to plan the audit. What do you need to consider here? This phase is crucial to the success of an audit, as otherwise there is a risk of using your time and other resources unwisely. There are various elements you need to consider and decide on before heading out to work in the field. First of all, you need to know what the objective of the audit is. What is it that you want to find out? And what questions need answering in order for you to achieve the objective of the audit? You also need to think about where you will find the criteria for measuring the performance of the policy or whatever the area is that you are planning to audit. Maybe there are relevant national standards on international good practice. Sometimes it is also possible to benchmark different things against one another. Moreover, you need to know where to find relevant data and how to analyze it, what methods will prove most efficient in auditing the issue and what you expect to find out as a result of the audit. That sounds like an awful lot of aspects to bear in mind. Yes, there are a lot of aspects to consider, but they are all important parts of an audit strategy. To make all of these more comprehensive and integrated, auditors have developed a tool called the Audit Design Matrix, or ADM. It helps bring all these aspects together in one table. In the following sections of the course, we'll be familiarizing ourselves with the ADM and the elements that make up the matrix. You will also have the opportunity to practice developing an ADM.